You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that beady look in your eye. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking Morning. murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such M thing. Morning, she Arthur. was in love, you sour-faced old crow. God damn you. Oh, murderer. Hell. You okay, Reverend? Yes. I will say a prayer for Miss O'Shea. Say a prayer for all of us. Listen. Listen to me. All of you. Listen. We're here. And we are safe now. And that is the main thing. Listen to me. You have got to keep faith. You've got to. Now, I know. I know no, it yet. Easy. Be careful. I said, hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Just get out of my sure. way. Sure. Cause I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> this is down. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean, well, I, I, this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think? down the mine until he gets sick which won't be long given how hard they work him see foreman don't like him so he gets the worst of it maybe i could go with well, maybe you could just leave us all alone maybe maybe you could just go fight some other battle I'm just in a friendly mood today for some hey boy, reason. Oh, your mom's a whore, little boy. Be quiet, Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mom's a whore, and that's a goddamn fact. Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Go home here with Archie. <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? <laughs> or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Uh. 
can't even fight your own. Get off me! Ain't my fault! Now who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this, all of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. <sighs> Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. I really can't... I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be violent. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. We'll land the boat in the morning when the prisoners come back out to work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot. Look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? <clears throat> okay, bring us over. We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Get over here. There's a guard up there. I'll deal with him. Okay, come on up. Where's John? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah, I see two guards. Okay. Take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Let's go over there and see. Okay. Come on. One of those guards was
Not a damn bullet. Get moving, Arthur. Come on. Will you hurry up? Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, mister, you know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No, you put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marsden? He ain't in the work detail today. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him together. Oh, oh. Try anything and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> hey, why don't you apologize <clears throat> to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! Stay down! <sighs> okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. You know, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, uh, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up. <laughs> well, this poor fool's going to get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. <laughs> Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Pick up history! Let's make a run for it! Go to hell! We've got to move! Come on! Time flies. 
We can't keep this up. Let's move. I gotta move. Let's go. Watch yourself there. You're gonna burn. Seems to need rescuing, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Turn that boat around, or we will gun you down. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prized chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Yeah. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Grids and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... It might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or 
Maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. sent for you yet. I will. I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, and eight. I have a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking to hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. 